you miss you're on i'm going to show you how to start off on day one with our extract and getting the children to list out words that they don't know and think about those words and the questions that arise from the extract. So I'm going to start reading it. Everybody, I need to think and underline any words when I read it that we are not sure of. And we're going to be thinking about what we're reading. Yes, said Tom bluntly on opening the front door. What do you want? A harassed middle-aged woman in a green coat and felt hat stood on his step. He glanced at the armband on her sleeve. She gave him an awkward smile. I'm the billeting officer for this area, she began. Oh yes, and what's that got to do with me? She flushed slightly. Well, Mr. Mr. Oakley, Thomas Oakley. Ah, oh, thank you, Mr. Oakley. She paused and took a deep breath. Mr. Oakley, with the declaration of war imminent, Tom waved his hand. I knows all that. Get to the point. What do you want? He noticed a small boy at her side. It's him I've come about, she said. I'm on my way to the, your village hall with the others. What others? She stepped to one side. Behind the large iron gate which stood at the end of the graveyard were a small group of children. Many of them were filthy and very poorly clad. Only a handful had a blazer or coat. They all looked bewildered and exhausted. One tiny dark haired girl in the front was hanging firmly onto a new teddy bear. The woman touched the boy at her side and pushed him forward. There's no need to tell me, said Tom. It's obligatory and it's for the war effort. You are entitled to choose your child, I know, began the woman apologetically. Tom gave a snort. But, she continued, his mother wants him to be with someone who's religious or near a church. She was quite adamant. Said she would only let him be evacuated if he was. Was what? asked Tom impatiently. Near a church. Tom took a second look at the child. The boy was thin and sickly looking, pale with limp sandy hair and dull grey eyes. His name's Willie, said the woman. Willie, who had been staring at the ground, looked up. Round his neck, hanging from a piece of string, was a cardboard label. It read William Beach. Right, what is happening in this extract? What do you think is happening in this extract? So, I think what's happening is that um, the, the people are kind of like gathering up their people to church to learn like how what to do and what not to do and try and be like her possibly let's possibly brookie i think that um in order for him to be well looked after he needs to be by a church by a church and okay but church. what do we think is actually happening do we think this is something that is happening today no so what kind of time frame, Shames, do we think it might be taking place in? In the war. You think it's in the war. And yeah. you would be right. What clues have you got about that? Why do you think that? It says in the text, um, Mr. Oakley with the declaration of the war eliminated. Excellent. Elimin so you reference the text, which is absolutely first class, Shamer. So, it says in the text, do you remember how that is what we must do, David? Always find our clues from the text if we don't, we're not sure. So we know, what does imminent mean? What does that even mean? With the declaration of war imminent, do we know what that means? Mm -hmm. If something is imminent, do we think it's a long time in the future? Or do we think it's quite, quite likely to happen right soon, very, very soon? Um, I'm going to read. Very soon. What do I mean by declaration? What does the writer mean by declaration? What does that mean? What word do we know is in declaration? Can you hear it? What do we do? Declaration. What about declare? 
if I declare something, what am I doing? Denying it. Not denying it. Rookie? Um, if I was to declare, I don't know, all you're... children must go to school on Fridays. Then you're declaring it and it has to happen. Has to happen. So what does declare mean? Well, it means that you're stating something. I'm stating it. Exactly right. And if I state something, the war is imminent, or a declaration of war is imminent, it means that the government are going to say to the whole country, we're going to war. That's it. We're going to war. That is a statement. It's a declaration. Okay, David? Okay. So who do we think are the main characters in this story? Who do we think we're going to be reading about when we read this story? So, Tom and the young boy, whose name William. is uh, William. William. William Beach. Willie Beach. Right, okay. What do we think about it so far, David? Do we like this story? Do we think we might like to rush out and buy this story so we can read the whole thing? Yeah. You do? What kind of things do you like about it? Sorry? You like the fact that it's it's somebody who's saying something about being in a church or near a church? Okay. What else do you like about it or dislike? And remember, it's fine to be both. It's fine to say, sorry, I don't think this is for me. Brooke? Um, I like how it's like unexpected and it just happens. Like he just comes to his house and... You like the surprise? Yeah. What about you, Soph? I like how it's... Like makes kind of like a mystery story, kind of, or makes it more for people like to read. It well, it might do. Would you, if you were in this situation, and my father was in this situation, if you're a small child and war is about to be declared by your country, and you're Londoners, where do you think you might have gone? Would you have wanted to go? Would you have wanted to all get in a train on a train? and head out miles and miles away to live with somebody you didn't know. Yeah. That happened, that happened to thousands of children. And that's what this story is going to be talking about. So what do you think Tom's gonna to do next? A woman has turned up on his doorstep and said, here's William, his mum wants him to come and stay with you because you either go to church or you live near a church? Um, I think that he might take the boy because he's just left on the floor and he wants the boy to be safe. He'll want the boy to be safe. What kind of man do we think Tom is? Think about all those adverbs about how he speaks, David. How do you think he, sleep he speaks? Look at that first four words, David. Yes, said Tom bluntly. So maybe he's a bit stubborn? I should say so. What else? What does the word blunt, bluntly mean? If I, speak, if I speak bluntly to you, David, how might I be speaking? Mm -hmm. uh, it has connotations of that sometimes. How else, James? Um, I, think, um, I think bluntly means like strict. Strictly. Is he, is he sort of being really polite and friendly? No. no. He's just sort of saying, hurry up, spit it out, what do you want? What do you want? Why have you turned up at my doorstep? And who are they? And who's that? Okay, so he's not, he's not speaking in a very friendly manner. It's almost being rude. He just wants to like get the point of why he's Absolutely, there. get to the point. That's exactly right. Okay, is there anything in this, in, these, in this extract, any language that we do not understand and we cannot work out? David, start us off. Bewildered. If you are bewildered, what are you? Can you find it in the text, David, where it says bewildered? They, in the second paragraph. They all look bewildered and exhausted. Okie dokie, they all look bewildered and exhausted. What's happening here, David? What have I just said's happening? Can you remember? There are a whole load of children that have come with a woman they don't really know on a train from London, miles into the country, 
and they've landed in a village and they're about to be going to the village hall to find what? Coal. Or people to stay with. Exactly right, so. Okay, so that's what the, that's what's happening. How would you feel if that happened to you? Devastated. You'd be devastated, which is a great word. You'd be absolutely exhausted. But what else would you be feeling? I'd feel a bit confused also because the children are quite young, so barely know what's happening. Exactly right. My father was three, three years old. So you imagine being taken from your mum and dad to go and stay with somebody who might not necessarily be very nice to you. And my father wasn't treated very well, so his mother went and got him. Yeah? Not everybody is a nice person, as we know, and not everybody stayed with people that were nice. So how would you feel? Because I would be absolutely heartbroken at leaving my mum and dad and also terrified about what was going to happen. And bewildered does mean confused. That is the link. Okay? You'd be confused. You wouldn't necessarily know what was going on. You've just stopped at some old man's house. You probably think that you're not actually going to be with them. You just think that you're going to see them. Well, you're going to... You, yes, you don't necessarily know what's happening. Do you think people 50, 60 years ago told children like we do today what's happening? No. Not necessarily, no. No? They absolutely didn't. Okay, so bewildered. So bewildered means confused, David. Any others? Anybody else got any words they're not sure of? Brookie Brookster? Uh, oblig obligatory. Obligatory? Yeah. Okay, so if something, it is obligatory and it's for the war effort. Does Tom have a choice? No. So if something's obligatory, you have to do it. Okay? It's obligatory that you come to school. And you have to come to school. And also a billeting officer. Right, if you're a billet if your billets or a billeting officer is you're finding somewhere for children to go. Or it may be you're an army soldier and you live in billeted accommodation. Okay, David? What does apologetically mean? What do you think it means? Apologetically. What word do you think might sort of be in that? Apologi apologetically. Can you hear it? Anybody? Anything that it might remind you of? James? The word apologetic comes from the word any word? Yes. So, what word is in there, Brooke? You've Apologetic. got it. Apologetic. Apologetic. What does that mean? What word? What word? If we're really looking. Apologetic. No. 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 <laughs> sorry, love. No. Brooke. Apologize. Apologize. So, what do we do if we're apologizing? So you're saying okay. like you feel sorry. You're saying sorry. So if you're saying something apologetically, which could have been what we used earlier, apologetically means you're just not, you're feeling <coughs> a bit bad about it. You're sort of saying sorry. I okay. Say thank you. Okay. I would like you now to look, to go through any words now and underline any more that you do not understand or you're not sure of. Read that transcript and tell me Anything else that you might be able to think about that is on it about this story? What you think the story might be? What you think Tom might be like? You just have those going through your head when you underline those, those words you're not sure of. James? Was this Ed, 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 Ed. Where are you looking, Adam, darling? In the second paragraph, it says she was quite... Adamant? Yeah. If you're adamant about something, you're not going to be swayed. If you're absolutely... I'm adamant... Um, I'm adamant that all children must come into school. I'm not going to be taken... That's not going to change. Um, what is... Um, like, if you say she flushed slightly, what does that mean? 
if you flush slightly, what's happening to your face? Yeah, like you're sweating. You can flush with exercise. You can get flushed. I did a 5K walk on, sa on Sunday and I thought I was looking like a beetroot by the end of it. <laughs> Purple. You can flush because you've done too much. You've exerted yourself. But in this case, she hasn't. Not so you, she went red. She's slightly embarrassed. She's not really embarrassed because then her face would be really red. But she's slightly embarrassed. She's like nervous. She would be nervous because he doesn't sound particularly like he's very welcoming, does he? So underline those words and then I'm going to ask you to get your dictionaries and you, or you can use an online dictionary to find out exactly what they mean. Okay, and we'll make a note of about three or four that I think we should, we should try and think about using when we do some, some writing on this. Okay, miss, that's... Was that okay for today?